the close of the 17th century, two great European powers, England and France, were at war with each other. Their armies met in combat on the European continent and also in the great new world, America. In their struggle to gain control of the colonies, both countries enlisted the aid of powerful Indian tribes. The mighty fleets of the two nations fought for command of the sea and the rich world trade. But out of this great strife, there arose a new element which threatened to destroy all commerce. Both England and France secretly commissioned privateers with orders to attack and loot each other's ships. But too often, these privateers turned pirate and preyed on the merchant ships of all countries. Emboldened by their success, these pirates banded together, forming great fleets of fighting ships and even building fortresses on islands which they had captured and looted. So piracy became not only a menace on the high seas, but was also a scandal in high official circles. And at an office of the British Admiralty, late in the year 1697... How long will Robert Langdon detain you at the Admiralty? Long enough for my audience with Lord Belmore, I suppose. What does he want with you, Richard? All I know, Alan, is that Mr. Langdon said it was very important and uh, quite secret. Very well, keep your secret. I'll wait for you at the Red Fox Tavern. Albert Court, Earl of Belmore, loyal follower of William III, the Dutch King of England, and high in the councils of the Admiralty. Yes? Oh, come in, Langdon. I give orders that you are to be admitted the moment you arrive. Lord, this is Master Richard Dale. Mr. Langdon speaks highly of you, and with cause. He served His Majesty well on the continent, and he's handy with a blade. I know his record. Sit down, gentlemen. I've been empowered by His Majesty to offer you a commission, Dale. But first, let me acquaint you with the circumstances that led to the offer. One year ago, His Majesty commissioned a ship for a mission very important to the Merchant Marine. The ship was the Adventure Galley, with Captain William Kidd in command. His orders were to find the pirates and rid the seas of them. Stand to there! We must admit that the dangerous mission made it difficult for Kidd to sign a desirable crew. Fire to her rigging! First mate, Buller, was a great scoundrel who had doubted the ship with more than one freebooter. Stay tight, that rigging there! Mr. Buller, come here! Aye, sir! What's the matter with that forward gun crew? They act like they're dead. They're doing the best they can. Put her about! You don't act like Hello, Mr. Buller. Keep moving. Aye, sir. We've since learned that William Moore, the gunner's mate, has served with both Culliford and Few, notorious pirate. The ill-assorted crew caused much concern at the Admiralty, but it was decided it would take cutthroats like these to conquer the pirates. We had every confidence in the integrity of Captain Kidd and his ability to handle these men. Dr. Brand, see to that man there! We're going alongside! Take her alongside! Prepare to board her! But as events unfolded, our reckoning proved wrong. The reckoning was correct. Perhaps the judgment may have been wrong. Our judgment, then. Captain Kidd did not sweep the pirates from the seas. The fact is, he became a pirate himself. He must be made to answer for his treachery. But, in order to bring him to trial, Direct proof of his acts is needed. And you wish me to obtain the proof? Are you willing to undertake such a mission, Mr. Day? I am. I have no liking for pirates. There's considerable personal danger to be faced, you know. The whole world is in peril with all the wars going on. 
So the danger to one man is of small consequence. Your mission must be kept secret. If one word of it got out, Kid would be forewarned. Then he'd have your life, Dave. And we'd have no evidence. I'm at your command, gentlemen. Most of your work will be in the new world. Mr. Langdon will be there soon as an emissary to the crowd. I'll not be able to help you openly, but I'll be on hand to receive your evidence. And when the time comes to order the arrest of Captain Kidd. When do I leave? At once. Your passage to New York has been arranged aboard the Bark Royal Prince. Could you make it for two, sir? I'd like to take my good friend Alan Duncan with me. You'll vouch for him? Oh, in every way. Then consider it arranged. Here. This will seal our bargain. You'll call upon Mr. Langdon, New York, for more, should you need it. The Royal Prince weighs anchor with the morning tide. You'll find your papers on board. Then I'll leave immediately. I have much to do before then. Until we meet again, gentlemen, when I trust our pirates shall have been brought to justice. You've made an excellent choice, Langdon. He'll do our work well. Thank you, my lord. Gentlemen. He should have a fat purse. Place. <laughs> I find it's given me a great thirst. Then uh, let's quit it. Now, Richard, what does our Earl of Belmore have by way of a secret? It's going to please you, Alan. Well, then, let's have it. We're under commission to seek out one Captain Kidd on the Adventure Galley. What do we want of this Captain Kidd? We must find evidence to prove that he's turned pirate. Oh. I heard you speak of Kidd. You have big ears, sailor. You'll need him, too, for tacking if you board Kidd's galley. The man's a devil. Sit down. You know him? None better. Sailed with him as second mate. Crews did it attention when they said to me, aye, Mr. Barrett. You have no liking for this, Captain Kidd. A man's as bloodthirsty a pirate as ever trod a deck. Have you ever seen him at work? That I have. In fair weather and foul, on calm sea, and in a dozen of his battles. Like the day we overtook the merchantman, Royal Cape, in the India Seas. Ran up the Jolly Roger. When one of the crew mentioned that the Royal Cape flew the British flag, Kid flogged him. Then he laid alongside the Royal Cape and led the boarding party himself. None could stand against this tyrant. No flag was safe once he sighted a ship to loot. I can still hear his ugly voice. None fought so fiercely nor so cruelly as Captain Kidd himself. Get the quarter! Play all hands! Set that ship afire! And then he'd loot the blazing ship, return to his own in search of other victims. With all that treasure to divide, why did you leave him? I didn't. 
I was left ashore with others when we'd gone to get some water. Captain Kidd figured they'd be that many less to share the loot. You say there were others put ashore with him? Aye. Glyus Smith was one. Tom Gulliver, third mate, another. If you're ever in New York, you can find them along the waterfront. Thanks for your tale. If we ever meet up with Captain Kidd, we'll tell him your good opinion of him. Keep a weather eye out for the man. He's a sea monster. This mission proves more interesting than I'd hoped. Yes, or maybe more to it than I first thought. We'd better pack our seed bags and board the Royal Prince before the tide turns. When do you think we'll arrive in New York, Richard? With fair winds, we should sight the New World in about uh, five weeks. Sail home! Two points off the port bow. You make her out? British man of war. Carries about 40 guns, I'd say. Fire a shot across her bow. Ahoy there! Stand to for a boarding party. Ahoy! Standing by to receive boarding party. Get all hands on deck. When a man of war stops a peaceful trader, there's usually trouble brewing. Have all your men been assembled? They have. Step out. Step out. And you. And you. Step out. And you. Step forward and join the others. We're not members of the crew. Step out! What's the reason for invading the liberty of passengers? By authority of His Majesty, I'm selecting men to fill out our crew. We decline the honor. There is no authority which permits Shanghai and peaceful citizens. Arrest these men. Ready your charge or I'll fire! Arrest them. The others who were selected. Get your belongings and prepare to leave this ship. What is it? Come see for yourself. Looks like the shore of Long Island. Why not show them your commission and they'll free us? Forget it, secret. We must try to escape. Yes. We'll follow the plan we discussed. As soon as we make port, we'll have to take on some new supplies. Aye, sir. The prisoners are escaping. After them!
From now on, we're fugitives. I hope they put a good price on my head. Our one chance is to get to New York as quickly as possible and be on our way to find Captain Kidd before those Navy buzzards catch up with us. Yes. We'll find a road and get directions. Two strangers just arrived in your city of New York. If you do not ask what is outside the law. We seek two seamen commended to us by friends in London. Their names? One is known as Tom Gulliver, the other, Glyas Smith. Gulliver shipped out nigh a year ago, but Smith is a regular patron. <laughs> Glyas is the one that always wins. Ask him to join us. Yes, sir. Those two gentlemen wish you to join them. Two ales. Make it three. You wanted word with me? Mate Barrett in London told us of you. Sit down. Hi, Barrett. We lost him in the Bahamas. Now, what word from Barrett? He said you might be able to direct us to Captain Kidd. If you have no stomach for treachery and murder, stay clear of Kidd. What manner of man is he? Judge for yourself when I tell you what happened last I saw him at Port San Juan. It's a settlement in the Indies. Quiet and peaceful it was until Captain Kidd arrived. He sailed toward the harbor of Port San Juan in the adventure galley one spring day. Kid plotted to trick the natives and use it as a port of call for all the pirates sailing the southern seas. Kid had all the village chieftains assembled in the courtyard, promising them friendship and good trading. And kids' men attack. The unarmed natives had no chance. Kid himself finished three of them. When the slaughter was over, Kid took command of the fortress and collected tribute from the entire settlement. All the prizes taken by Kid and the other pirates were brought into the harbor to be stripped of their treasure. The last I knew, Kid still held sway at Port San Juan taking tribute from the natives and cutting down any who opposed it. What made you leave such a treasure trove, Mr. Smith? I had word Kid planned to make me walk the plank. Good enough reason. I stowed away on one of the ships that left the port. Here I am and here I stay. You'd swear to all this, Mr. Smith? Who are you to ask such as that? As I said, a friend of Mate Barrett. Arrest those two men. You will remain here as an example until our captain passes sentence on you. It's a pirate, sir. It's Captain Kidd. Man the guns. Return the fire. Man the guns. Return their fire.
Hollywood. Will Captain Kidd continue his career of piracy? Who is this strange girl he will win as a prize of war? Don't miss The Fatal Shot, the second thrilling chapter of the great adventures of Captain Kidd at this theater next week.